Tasty Wally, brought to you by Chattuck Product, Nariel Coconut Cooking Oil, Eve Evaporated and Condensed Milk. Hi and welcome to Tasty Wally. I am Sidhi Sanka and today we are making Karat Halwa, a spin on the traditional Parsad. First, what we're going to do is add some water to our small pot and create our infused milk. So I have one half cup of water as well as one third of a can of Eve evaporated milk. To that, I'll add some Chattak whole elaichi pods and allow that to infuse. Along with the elaichi, we will be adding some freshly grated nutmeg, about half teaspoon, to lend its flavor to our milk. Now we begin our karat halwa. We add some ghee to our pot, followed by four cups of carrots, grated. Our carrots will begin to cook, sizzle, and fry in the oil, as well as develop the taste from the natural fats from the ghee. We cook this for about six to seven minutes. It is important to fry your carrots and remove as much moisture as possible. So the moisture in our carrots have reduced by half and we're going to reduce our flame as well. Now we add three tablespoons of chatak semolina or you can use cream of wheat to help bind our carrot halwa. We give this a generous toss and allow our semolina to patch. This recipe substitutes flour for carrots and you can also use any local fruit or vegetable in its half ripe form. When the semolina begins to stick, we add all the milk to our carrots. Quickly and carefully stir to incorporate and ensure that all the semolina is covered by the milk. As our mixture comes together, we add a half cup of Eve condensed milk and turn continuously. We keep our heat on a medium and allow our mixture to dry out. At this point, we'd like to add some raisins to add a pop of color and texture. As our karat halwa gets thick and creamy, we'll add an element of crunch with some chatak almonds. We give this a stew and reduce our flame. As our halwa continues to dry out, the water evaporates and all the flavors infuse itself into this dish. At this point, when your halwa is at this consistency, being thick and mushy, we're going to turn off the heat and allow it to cool inside of the pot which we cooked it. So, our carrot halwa has already cooled and we're just going to plate it up very nicely. Now your carrot halwa can be served as a dessert, it can be offered for those who pray and use parasad, as well as it can be solidified by drying it down further and cut into squares and distributed. And here we have carrot halwa. Tasty Wally, brought to you by Chattak Product, Nariel Coconut Cooking Oil, Eve Evaporated and Condensed Milk.